Analyzing the relationships between states can further one's understanding of America. The data from the State Similarity Index was used to determine the two most similar states to each state. It weighs equally five major aspects of states, their demographics, culture, politics, infrastructure, and geography. By linking each state to its two most similar counterparts, a unique picture of the United States emerges. This map of America shows that some states connect to states that are out of their region. According to the analysis, Virginia has characteristics of both the Northeast region and the South. Its two most similar states are North Carolina and Maryland, in part because much of its population lives in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Its people tend to be wealthier and more educated than most southern states. In addition, it is not as conservative politically. Furthermore, country music is not as popular in Virginia as in most southern states. Being one of the most northern states in the southeast region, its climate also tends to be colder. The data also shows that Missouri is clearly a transitional state between the Midwest and the South. In fact, Missouri's two most similar states are southern states, Kentucky and Tennessee. Like many southern states, Missouri used to allow slavery and racial segregation. No other state commonly defined as in the Midwest allowed it. Its people also tend to be more religious than the other states in the Midwest. On the other hand, most of its people do not have southern accents. It is also located further north than most southern states, so its climate is not as warm. Like Missouri, Oklahoma is another transitional state between the Midwest and the South. Its two most similar states are Kansas and Arkansas. Like many Midwestern states, especially in the Great Plains, Oklahoma is fairly flat, and the bulk of its land is used for agriculture. Like most southern states, its people tend to be very religious. Oklahoma also has relatively few Catholics. Although it was not a state during the Civil War, slavery was once allowed there, and racial segregation persisted. Despite being part of the Northeast region, Pennsylvania has many characteristics of Midwestern states, in particular the Great Lakes region. In fact, Ohio and Michigan are the two most similar states to Pennsylvania. Unlike most other states in the Northeast, a large portion of the population in Pennsylvania and the Midwest has German ancestry. Pennsylvania's people also tend to be more religious and evangelical, so its traits are closer to the Midwest than the Northeast. Like many Midwestern states, Pennsylvania is moderate politically. In the last few decades, it has elected a mix of Democrats and Republicans. Pennsylvania and other states in the Great Lakes region are part of the Rust Belt. This region plays a key role in manufacturing and industry. Both Pennsylvania and the Midwest are known for their extensive transportation networks, crucial for facilitating the movement of goods across the country. Alaska is one of the most unique states in the country, but it is most similar to the Rocky Mountain subregion. Montana and Idaho are the two states most similar to Alaska. Both regions tend to be mountainous, cold, and sparsely populated. These states are among the last states admitted to the United States. In addition, a majority of the people in these states are white. Furthermore, both regions tend to prefer Republican candidates, although they are not the most conservative states in the country. The mining industry has been an important economic force bringing people to both Alaska and the Rocky Mountain region. Hawaii is another extremely unique state, but it is most similar to the Pacific Coast subregion. California and Washington are the two states most similar to Hawaii. These states also border the Pacific Ocean and have some beautiful beaches as well as large shipping ports. In addition, Hawaii and states in Pacific Coast region are quite mountainous and have volcanoes. Like Hawaii, their people are also quite liberal and their governments are dominated by Democrats. These states have health-conscious people so they tend to do a lot of exercise and have low smoking rates. After Hawaii, California and Washington are the two states with the highest percentage of East Asians. Please like and subscribe to the Objective Lists channel as there will be even more interesting videos coming soon. For more insights and analysis, please visit objectivelists.com for new and thought-provoking articles about our world.